Okay, we're moving from adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers onto multiplying and dividing them. There's a couple very simple rules to follow when you do this. First of all, if the numbers in the problem have the same sign, so either they're both positive or both negative, doesn't matter which way it is, your answer is going to be positive. So for example, if you have 1 times 1, those are both positive numbers, same sign, so your answer is going to be a positive one. If you have negative 1 times negative 1, they're both negatives, so your answer is going to be positive 1 because they both have the same sign. Okay, the second rule to follow is if, the, if they have different signs, your answer is going to be negative. So if you have 1 times negative 1, it's a positive and a negative. They're different signs. Your answer is going to be negative automatically. Now the third rule is if there's more than two numbers that are getting multiplied together, you count up how many negatives there are. If there are an even number of negatives, your answer will be a positive number. If there are an odd number of negatives, then their answer will be negative. So if you have like negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, 1, 2, 3 negatives is odd, so your answer is going to be a negative number. If you'd have 4 of them, 4 is an even number, so your answer would be positive. Now here's a couple of quick, quick practice problems. The first one is negative 7 times 8. Look at that, decide are the signs the same or different, the signs are different. So we automatically know that our answer is going to be negative. Then we multiply 7 times 8, which is 56, and that gives us our answer. It's very simple. You just have to decide on the sign first, and then use the numbers for the multiplication or the division. Okay, the second one is 8 divided by negative 4. Are the signs the same or different? The signs are different. So we know our answer is going to be negative. 8 divided by negative 4 is going to be 2, negative 2. Okay, next one, negative 6 times negative 6. Are the signs the same or different? The signs are the same, so we know our answer is going to be positive. 6 times 6 is, is 36. Let's do a couple more and we'll be finished. Okay, our next one is negative 15 divided by 3. Negative 15 and positive 3, those are different signs, so we know our answer is going to be negative. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so our answer is negative 5. And our last one, 24 divided by 8. Same signs or different signs? They're the same. They're both positive numbers. So our answer is going to be positive, and we just take 24 divided by 8, and we get 3.